and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team guys, and today I'm going to be going over my Team of the Year player predictions. Now, you guys might think it's a little early, but Team of the Year does drop within the next week or so. Last year, it dropped on about like January 14th or 13th, so that would mean you guys have about five to six days to prepare prior to it coming out. So, I'm going to give you guys my player, my player predictions. It's going to be a kind of long video, so I want to get quickly into this video. I've got a lot, i got every position to go over with a few honorable mentions in them that I couldn't really decide on. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys. We're 100 subscribers away from 17,000. So, if you're new here, you know what to do. And Noti Gang, if you made it this far and you're here already, make sure to comment down below Noti Gang and like the video. Can we get 350 likes in this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. So run the like button up. And comment down below who you guys think. Like, if you guys disagree with anything I say, comment down below who you guys think that should be in these predictions. Who do you think had a better year? I'd be awesome to hear it because now we could all kind of get an idea for what people think. But let's get right into this video. So, I'm going to go in the auction block for this. Primarily because you guys just understand when Madden picks Team of the Year players, it isn't always based on who's the best of the position. It also includes who hasn't gotten a card upgrade in a while. So you can kind of have an idea of who they will do based on card upgrades. So I'm going to show you guys from here. So starting off with the quarterback position, this one right here wasn't too, it was kind of tough because the first guy I'm going with is Russell Wilson. Now Russell Wilson's had a phenomenal year, MVP type year, although he probably won't win it over Lamar Jackson, but he lines up perfectly. His last card is a 91 overall signature series card, which means he hasn't gotten an upgrade in a while. Now it's kind of weird that a guy who made the playoffs, MVP type year, and all this stuff hasn't been involved in many of the promos all year. You know they got to be saving for some. He's going to be getting a Team of the Year card. Now, the other guy who I think could be getting a Team of the Year quarterback card, I, they don't do two, but I'm giving you guys my second one because quarterback's important. So I think Dak Prescott will be the only other eligible candidate. Mahomes already got an upgrade. Lamar's probably going to get an MVP card. Plenty of other quarterbacks are online. Now, Dak Prescott hasn't gotten many cards this year. While he has had one of the, he had probably had the best year of his career so far, as well as one of the best quarterback years this year. So he's definitely going to be in line for a card. I think him or Russell Wilson are safe bets. Now, coming into the running backs. Now, the running backs, this was tough. There's a lot of good ones, a lot of guys that I like. But I think for running backs, Dalvin Cook is a solid option. Think about it. He only has a blitz card. Oh, his last card was a blitz card, 92 overall. He's going to be right in line. Dalvin Cook was right there for one of the league leading rushers, I think, like in the top three. He's a solid, solid. He's in real life. No, he's in real life. He's, he's electric. He's phenomenal. Now, the other guy who I think could be getting it, I think it's going to be one of these two guys, is going to be Bradley Chubb. Now, Bradley Chubb only has an 84 overall Mutt Superstar, and he's had a great year. So that just tells you all you need to know. He hasn't had an upgrade above an 84 overall. Actually, I think, I feel like he does have, no, he does have a Team of the Week card. I know that for a fact. But the Team of the Week card, again, wasn't that great either. It wasn't that high of an overall. He definitely is in line for a new card. Now, coming over to Fullback, Fullback was a little bit tougher. I mean, Fullback's like, even on like, when you go on Pro Football Focus stuff, like, I couldn't really find specific Fullback stuff. But, best offense. Does multiple things. I think it's got to go to Patrick Ricard. I'm not going to, I don't know how to spell his name. Is it, is it this way? Patrick Ricard. I think he's going to be getting, his last card was an 86 overall heavyweight card. At the time, he was one of the better fullbacks. He'll probably be getting that same upgrade in the near future. Now, next, we're going over to the wide receivers. Now, wide receivers, I believe we get like three of them. You typically like two regular receivers and then one like specialist receiver. So, this one seems pretty obvious to me. In terms of the first receiver we need to be getting, I think it has to go to Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas hasn't gotten a card since his Halloween 90 card, I'm pretty sure. Like, like the college uh, Michael Thomas, he broke the catch record. He's doing the same things. He hasn't gotten any cards, and they're knocked out of the playoffs, which means he's safe from any other cards. I think Team of the Year cards already. I think, I think it's in the cards already. Like He's getting one. Next one's going to be DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins, again, another guy. Amazing receiver. Ultimate kickoff card, kind of been the extent of him. 91 overall. I think he's definitely in line for another card in the near, near future. Gonna be crazy good. I think those are gonna be the two main receivers. And now, as far as specialist receivers, that's just a tough one to pick. It'll probably be some kicker turn I don't know of. And just an honorable mention, maybe Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper did have a really good year. Injury plagued, but still a good year. He hasn't gotten many cards this year. He's been capped up. He's been capped at the 89 overall football outside of that he has. So, is it possible he could see a card? I think so. Next. Coming in to left tackle. Now, this is where things... No, actually, tight end. Tight end. I almost, almost missed tight end. Tight end is two two guys here. So, it couldn't be Kelsey or them. Kelsey's got an upgrade. So, that one was kind of hard to predict. Now, I think Austin Hooper has an outside chance of getting it. He was the number one tight end 
until his injury like he was playing that well for the Falcons even though he got injured I still think he's a great option he feels like a guy who can get a, he can fit in a nice car um, nice card great stats and he's not going to take up any slots from any other great cards from getting them next one is George Kittle George Kittle last card was a Mutt Heroes LTD card definitely line for a new upgrade one of the best tight ends in the league although this season wasn't exactly the best he did have a lot of touchdowns and the yards called back so if you had if you if he hadn't gotten all those penalties and all that stuff that happened to him he would have he probably would have panned out to be one of the best tight ends this year stat wise although skill wise we definitely know he is one of the best so those are my tight ends now left tackle i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna go one by one for the lineman because that's gonna take too long left tackle i got laremy tunsil laremy tunsil he was traded over for first round pick I don't think he was the best at left tackle, but he lines up perfectly with his upgrades. Next card he should be getting. At left guard, I think Quentin Nelson. Quentin Nelson, one of the best left guards in the league. Last card was a Thanksgiving card. Definitely in line for one. Center, Travis Frederick. Cowboys O-line. Great rushing attack. Last card was a Halloween card. Definitely in line for that one too. Right guard, Yonda. I feel like Yonda is like a staple at right guard when it comes to team of the year. And then right tackle, Lane Johnson. Another guy who I think could easily line up for that. Always one of the best uh, right tackles in Madden. Now, getting over to the defense, left end. Left end, this one was kind of tough. There was a lot of guys, but I think I think Joey Bosa lines up perfectly. His last card was like the 93 overall Thanksgiving card, which I'll show you guys right here. I should have him right here. 92 overall, I'm sorry. I have him as a 93. Perfect timing, he had a 92. Hasn't gotten a card since. Definitely in line for a team of the year card. Now, defensive tackle... I'm going to go with a guy that I think was a part of one of the best defenses this year. I think he's gotten a few upgrades. I don't think he's gotten anything phenomenal. Maybe a team of the week. We'll see right now. When I did last, I was seeing it, but a lot of guys. Okay, so he has his ultimate kickoff card, but that was progressively built up to 93. It wasn't like they gave him a 93. His last real 90 card was a DeForest, uh, DeForest Buckner Mud Heroes. He had a great year. I could easily see him getting the defensive tackle. Now, sometimes they do two of them. I didn't put two because... The second one isn't always just a solid, because first off, pro football focus and everything, players have different positions in real life than they show on Madden. That, that's, that's my first issue with that, but it is what it is. For right end, I'm going to go with Aaron Donald. Typically, I never give Aaron Donald a team of the year prediction type card. I never would, but you have to remember that Aaron Donald typically has been in the playoffs. That's A. So, you don't, he doesn't always have a chance. He might get a playoff card. B. He's usually in line for Defensive Player of the Year, so they don't give him a card there either. This year, I feel like there's other guys who might get Defensive Player of the Year this year. I don't think it's going to be Aaron Donald. So his last card was a Redux, and all these Redux cards, like from this time period, seems to have been getting upgrades, so I think Aaron Donald's right in line. It'll be really cool to see Aaron Donald as a Team of the Year card. Now, left us a linebacker. This guy, I had, I had Christian McCaffrey early in the year in fantasy, and this guy wreaked havoc on him every time they played. I remember how special he looked the first few weeks, and he still finishes one of the, one of the top sack guys in the whole league. Shaq Barrett, last card, 91 overall, out to linebacker for the Buccaneers. I think he's definitely in line for a left side linebacker card as a pass rushing type. Now, middle linebacker, again, another tough one. There's so many great guys. Some guys, you haven't even really heard their name this year, but stat-wise, they're still on top. I think Blake Martinez is in the line for one. Blake Martinez, I think, led the league in tackles, or at least was close to it. I don't know. He might not. He might have been tied with Bobby Wagner right there. Last card was an 87. Was a part of a phenomenal Packers defense this year. I really think Blake Martinez has a good a good chance of getting one. And then we always got to put the staple of team of the year in there. Bobby Wagner. Bobby Wagner could simply get one easily. His only last card was a 91 Mud Heroes. And we always know Bobby Wagner always has one of the top linebacker cards in Madden. And they haven't given it to him yet. Now, Keekley has an outside chance there too. But Keekley's team did not make the playoffs. So I don't really want to put him in there just yet. Because I feel like I feel like the, the, the Seahawks defense has been a little bit better. Then the, uh, the Panthers, well, the Panthers, it wasn't entirely their fault. Their offense really sucked, but again, is what it is. Now, right as a linebacker, I'm going to go with Jadavion Clowney. Another guy that his last card was one of these 92 Redux cards from that time period, and he hasn't got an upgrade yet. He's played great for the Seahawks. He's really helped something that they were lacking, which was a crazy good pass rusher and block, like block shutter off the outside linebacker spot. He's doing great. I think he could easily get a card. Next on the list, we got cornerbacks. Now, cornerbacks was another hard one. A lot of guys who you don't really hear about had top stats, but I don't know if they, they're not like flashy, so I don't know if they give it to them. I'm going to go with Kyle Fuller for one of them, Cor uh, cornerback for the Chicago Bears. He hasn't gotten like many cards this year. He just got that 90 Mud Hero card, and he had one last year too. I feel like he could definitely be in line. Kyle Fuller is always a pretty fast physical corner, so that'd be really, really cool. And then a guy who got traded over, had an had a up and down year, but still one of the best cornerback skill wise Jalen Ramsey he always gets cards last card again a Mud Hero card Mud Heroes was in September I think Ramsey definitely in line he probably will have one of the better cornerback cards when he does get released 
Now, next one is a guy that I'm not too aware of, but he had great stats. Most Bronco fans will swear by him. And that's, I want to say Justin Simmons. I don't want to say it's not Jonathan, right? Justin Simmons. Free safety for the, yep, Justin Simmons for the Broncos. Last card was this 93 Redux, which was the signature series card initially. I think he could easily get one. A lot of free safeties had great years, but he had some really good stats considering. And he's a newer guy. Now, for a strong safety, I feel like someone from the Buffalo Bills defense has to be on here. They had one of the best defenses in the league, and not many players have been getting many cards for them this year. Jordan Poirier had his kickoff card, but again, that was only an 84, so realistically, they dropped a 78 and an 84 for him. So at the at the end of the day, he hasn't really gotten many upgrades. Been one of the better uh, safeties this year. In real life, it has him slated as a free safety, but in Madden, it has him as a strong safety, so I have to put him here. Now for kicker. I mean, kicker's pretty obvious, in my opinion. There's always that top kicker every year. I mean, in my opinion, even though stats might not always show it, I think Justin Tucker's still the greatest kicker in the NFL. So I'm going to give it to Justin Tucker. He has this football outsider card. Should be in line for like a nice 95 overall, 96 overall kicker card. And now for a punter, I want to put Sam Koch for the uh, Baltimore Ravens, but he has like no stats because the Ravens haven't punted much. They just score, 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 move the change. So they're he's like ranked last in punting stats because he literally doesn't punt that often. But I went with someone who I've had for two years in Madden now, and he definitely needs an upgrade. That's Trey Way. I've had him on my team for way too long, and I think he's definitely in line. I, what does he have, two S's in his name? All right, he hasn't gotten a single card all year. He had his base lead, and that was it. Definitely in line for an upgrade. He's on a really bad team, but I could care less. He should be getting like a 94, 95 overall card. Now, overall ranges, I don't think we'll have 98s this year. I was thinking about it. Overalls have been like one less per promo since they were last year. So they've been like all one less backwards. So I think instead of being a 98, it'll probably cap at 97s. There'll be a bunch of 96s and a bunch of 95s. But like 95, 96, 97. Last year was 98, 97, 95. I mean 98, 97, 96 with a few 95s. I think this year will be more 97, 96, 95 with a few 94s. I think that'll kind of be the way they do it. But guys, that's about it for the video. If you guys have any questions or concerns with Team of the Year, comment it down below. As well as if you have any concerns about this list or you guys have any, you guys want to refute it, be, feel free to go ahead and put comments below. Say the, say the position like QB, RB, wide receiver, and just say who you think should be there instead and give me a reason why. It'll be pretty cool to read all those. But that's about it. If you just handle, hit that subscribe button. Let's get to 17K as quickly as possible. We should hit it by tomorrow, which would fall right in line with our goal of the end of the week. As well as, that's pretty much it. Like the video. Can we get 300 likes on this video? That'd be awesome. And see you guys later. I'm out. Peace.